All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to take off from where we left off yesterday with combining like terms. Now we're going to do is we're going to apply it in an equation. Combining like terms in an equation. How do we deal with that equal sign? But let's do a quick review. Remember, terms are any constant or um, coefficient and variable and its operators. So when we did the terms, we have to box the operator as well. Again, this is an operator. This is a term. This whole thing's a term. Term, term, term. This is a term as well. And we've got the x represents a variable. The 3 here represents a coefficient. So just quick reminders. And then remember, the 6 and the 3, because they're lone numbers by themselves, we call them constants. And then like terms, as we described yesterday, were when you have a common variable between two different terms. They must be the same set of variables, though. So here we have an x, and here we have an x. Therefore, this one and this one would be like terms. And the final thing I want to make sure that you understand is this bad boy right here, because this is the one that's going to have a big impact on how you do this today, and that is the equal sign, the great equalizer. Okay, and just a quick reminder on how to combine like terms like we did yesterday. I will look to see, I have this 3x here and this 4x here. 3x's and 4x's put together is 7x's. Then I've got plus 6 equals 3. Now right here you'll see that these, this constant is a like term with this and we can combine those and that's what we're going to be getting into today. The key here is what I was talking about earlier about that wonderful equalizer, the equal sign. The equal sign, as Ms. Sanchez has called it, been you've heard before, is called the ocean in her mind, right? You have to cross the ocean. Anytime you cross the ocean, something occurs. Well, I also call it, or I refer to it as like a battle. So we've got our battle lines drawn right here over the equal sign. If you're over here, you're on the left side. If you're over here, you're on the right side. Well, let's say you decide that you want to change sides. Anytime you cross to the enemy line, whichever direction, you have to change, right? If you were on the left side, you, s you go to the opposite side, which is the right side. So in other words, think of it like the operator. Your operator is your affected one. And as we've learned, the operator are those signs that go with it. So the operator must change sides. So if I was positive and then I crossed line, that means I must be a negative now. If vice versa, if I was a negative and I crossed the line, I must be positive. Now there's something that you need to be aware of. It doesn't matter which direction you cross, you must change operator signs. Whichever direction you go, you just change the operator sign. All right, so keeping that in mind, let's take a look at what we were left with after we married the like terms here and ended up with this. We have 7x plus 6 equals 3. Notice we still have like terms. The constants are still like terms. However, we've got to cross across that ocean or across across battle lines. So, so first, just to remember what needs to be done, let's box those terms in. Keep it simple. And remember, if there's no sign, we know it's positive. And now I want to get this positive 6 over here with this positive 3. But he has to cross to the opposite side. He's got to cross the ocean. You've seen this before. You've done this many times. He's going to do the opposite. And like Cookie Monster wanted, it's got to go to both sides. If you do one thing to one side of the ocean, you've got to do the other thing to the other side of the ocean. Those cancel out there. Leaves me with 7x equals. And I have $3 in my pocket. I owe $6. I'm still going to owe $3. Let's take a look at another one here. So our new equation will be 8x minus 12 equals x plus 2. All right, so as we've learned, the first step is always to box our different terms. And we go ahead and box it. And like Ms. Sanchez always says, if there isn't an operator, it's a positive operator. Here we got a negative operator, and we got a x. It is by itself, so it's a positive x. And then we got our positive 2. Now what I want to do is I want to get all of my like terms on 
opposite sides. And what I mean by opposite sides, because we have two sets of terms here on each side, so let's get the same ones on each side. So let's start with the x. Let's start with our variable and coefficient. So we have an 8x here and an x here. We don't have any other x's. These are constants. So we're just going to focus on the variables. Well, do I want to deal with a 8 or do I want to do this? It's best to usually try to go with a smaller number and move that. So we're going to take this one because x has a what in front of it? Yeah, that's right. Good job. Whoever yelled that out, it's a magic 1. There's a 1 in front of that x. So that's actually positive 1x. And we're going to send them over to the other side of the battle lines, right? Or the ocean, as Ms. Sanchez likes to say. And so we'll make it blue. Ocean. Hopefully their boat doesn't sink. But as we said, anytime they cross over, it was a positive, but now it's changed side, so it has to be a negative. So we do a negative x here so that we can get that down to 0. So it cancels out to 0. And over here, we have to do a negative x. And remember, it's a negative 1x. So really, that is saying 8 minus 1, because we always just do whatever it is to our coefficients. So that equals 7x minus 12 equals positive 2 so far. Ms. Sanchez will take it home now. All right, now I'm just going to focus on the equation where I'm at now. And I want to, I have this term here, I have this constant here and this constant here, and I want to get these constants on the same side of the ocean or the battle lines. And I really am going to start working toward getting that variable alone. Remember, we like to have that variable alone so we can solve for him. So I'm going to take this negative 12. Remember, we can box those in. If it helps you to box those in, box those in. I'm going to take this negative 12, send them across the ocean. So I need to do the opposite or cross battle lines. So we need to change sides. Positive 12 to both sides. This gives me 0 here, which is what I was after. Leaves me with 7x. And over here, I have a positive 2 and a positive 12. $2 in my pocket, 12 more in my pocket. Gives me 14. All right, and I cleaned that up a little bit. It was getting kind of messy and stuck at the bottom. That left us with 7x equals 14. And gosh, this looks awful familiar. I think you all know what to do from here. You've seen this before. One-step equation. There's a one-step equation. You learned that in whoop, sixth whoop. grade. One-step so, equation. We have whoop. our equal sign, our ocean. Here's our variable. It's being multiplied. So I undo the multiplication with the inverse property, and that is divide. This is 7 divided by 7, which is 1x, or just x. And 14 divided by 7, 14 divided by 7 is 2. And ta-da! <laughs> fireworks. x equals 2. This is fireworks. Oh, fireworks. There you go. Okay, here's example 3, and I'll start this one out, because I stole the pen from Mr. Sanchez. All right, I'm going to box these in first so I can get a good look at them. And Rosie's, uh, Rosie's wishing she can box these in the dog whining over there. All right. So now I've boxed in my terms. And now I'm going to separate out those like terms to the, the sides I want them to. I want all the x's on one battle side and all the constants on the other battle side. So I'm going to start with my constants. I'm going to go with the constants. That's what I want to do first. So I'm going to get this 3 and send them over to the 15. This is a positive 3. He's going across battle lines or across the ocean, so I need to do the negative 3. And I do that to both sides of the equation. 7x equals 5x. And I have $15 in my pocket. I'm paying 3. That's going to leave me with positive 12. Mr. Sanchez will carry it on from here. All right, so Ms. Sanchez has simplified it a little bit, but we obviously have more work to get done here. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and box those terms up, add any operators that are missing, because this one's missing a positive, this one's missing a positive. So we have positive 7x is one term, positive 5x is a term, and 12 is a, positive 12 is a term, constant, right? So what we need to do is we've got this 5x hanging out here, just doing nothing, and we want to get it with its friend 7x. 
So we're going to go ahead and cross the ocean, as Miss Angela says, or as I like to say, we're going to cross over to the enemy line. We're trading sides. Anytime we trade sides, we have to be the opposite of what we were because they don't want us to be the same. So we were positive. Well, guess what? Now we have to be a negative. And we do that to both sides. This cancels out to make it a zero, which is just positive 12 plus zero is 12 equals, drop our equal sign down, and then we have 7x minus 5x. Remember, we only focus on the constant. So what's 7 minus 5? I'm oh, sorry. Coefficient. 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 Well caught, Miss Sanchez. I was testing her. I know all of you caught that as well. Probably screaming it too. So we have 7 minus 5, basically, which is positive 2x. Now the last step is like Miss Sanchez says, this is a one-step equation now. We just have to get 2x, 2 times x equals 12. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So we divide by 2. Divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is x equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. That's right. Good job, Rosie. We are going to update one thing. We originally said that we were going to be combining like terms when we had an equation. Well, Miss Sanchez went all crazy and decided to kick it up a notch because she said that you guys can handle it. I said, I don't know. I don't know. I've They're seen geniuses. a lot of them drool on themselves. Geniuses. But we'll give it a shot. So we're not really combining like terms. I mean, yes, we do that. But in essence, this is actually what we call a multi-step equation. So you guys are actually solving multi-step equations, which is basically your pre-algebra. They're so smart, they could do it. We'll see. I still think you guys drool on yourselves too much, but Miss Sanchez is going for it. All right. So let's uh, get the next problem ready. All right, here's a picture of Rosie since she's been making so much noise over here telling us that she wants to do the math and we thought we'd give you a picture of her and now she's sneezing. So anyway, all right, here's the you try it problem. All right, at this point, go ahead and write this problem down into your notes and then push pause and try it. Once you have an answer that you think is right, go ahead and push play again so you can check it. Once you have an answer, maybe it's... 10x, maybe it's 5x, maybe it's 12x. X equals. Or, uh, sorry, x equals. Whatever x equals, go and high five that many people. And then get to your desk and hold up the number of people on your fingers. Not oh, the actual people, but your fingers. How many people did you high five? Once Miss Sanchez or I give you a thumbs up, keep going. If we give you a thumbs down, you messed up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test and see how you did. So hopefully all of you box your equations. So right away, if you have this after your first step, you are doing well. Well, I cannot draw boxes. And you put your little positive operators in those ones because they are positive. So how many of you got to that level? If you did that right, good job. The next thing we do is we want to combine terms. And you can either combine the constants like Miss Sanchez likes or you combine the coefficient and the variable terms like I like, but I'm going to do a follow Mrs. Sanchez's lead because she is the math teacher. So we will go ahead and combine our constants. We have a positive 5 and a positive 20. I like to get up the numbers on the right side of the equation. So I'm going to take that positive 5 and I'm going to send him over to the other army. He's leaving us. So he was positive. That means the operator must now be negative. So we put a negative 5 under each side. This equals out to 0. This 20 minus 5, hopefully you guys know what that is. Our Ms. Sanchez always says, you have $20, and you just bought something for $5, you now have positive $15 in your pocket. And we still have our 3x plus 15 equals 8x. If you got to this spot, good. Okay, and finally, we'll help you just a little bit more. We're going to, we've got the constants all on one side of the equal sign. Let's get these terms on the opposite side of the equal sign from that constant. So I want this 3x. Let me box these in again. It makes it easier to box them in, give them their operators. Operator. Okay. I want to take this positive operator. <laughs> I want to take this positive 3x and send him across the ocean. So I'm going to go negative 3x because he's changing battle lines. 
negative 3x, because Cookie Monster says so. That gives me 0 over here, plus 15, which of course you know by the identity property of addition is just 15. And here I've got, I just look at these coefficients, I've got a positive 8 and a negative 3 gives me a positive 5x. From there, we're not going to give you any more hints. You'll know if you had it right or not because you had already high-fived and gotten a thumbs up or not. If you got a thumbs down, you now have the chance to fix it. We've gotten you all the way down to this point. Was your mistake in the beginning or was it at the last step where you have to do something with the 5x and the 15? Here is your challenge problem. You got 4x minus 3 equals x plus 9. So you're going to go ahead and take this, pause it, screenshot it, and do it in Notability or... Or Educations, or you can do like Julio did yesterday. He just worked out the problem on his desk as a whiteboard and took a picture of it and brought that to me. Oh, well played. Julio. Julio, nice thinking. So go ahead and do that. Once you get it right, if you get it right, Ms. Sanchez or I will give you the next uh, set of mild, medium, and spices. Uh, good luck. Good job. And this is Rosie and Mr. Sanchez signing out.